Hi, here we are, and we're going to present the new product from HT, Line Splitter. Line Splitter is a professional item for measuring current, power, leakage, without having to disconnect the circuits. So, for example, here we're going to test the power consumption and uh, the leakage current by a motors. Here we are. The motors is plugged in the sockets. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the socket of the motors and plug inside of the line splitters and from the other side we're gonna power the motors. Line splitter simply divide the line so the five phase conductor, the neutral conductor and the health of the PE conductors. So you can see you have uh, the milliamp or between phase and neutral that means you have both wire ne neutral and phases passing through this loop. So if you clamp here, you could measure the leakage between phase and neutral. So if you don't have leakage, you should expect to read zero because both magnetic field cancel each other. From the other side, you have just the PE conductor, so the protective earth conductor. What does it mean? If you have a leakage that is going through the PE conductor, you can measure directly from this loop. So these two values are supposed to be the same. Otherwise, you have leakage on the mass of the motors, so it can be very dangerous. Then you have a simple multiplier of current by one or by 10, so you can easily read the lower current with the normal current. And moreover, you have the voltage measurement between phase and neutrals and between uh, the protective earth conductor and the phase or the neutral. Connect between phase and neutral. Then select the power function. Okay. Then go click on systems and start log. So then clamps the bow one multiplier. Now we're gonna plug in the motors and record all the parameters. You immediately see the value of active, reactive and apparent power. And you can also see more parameters. For example, the voltage and the current, the voltage harmonics, the current harmonics and even energy, because this clamp can even record for a long period of time, so you can calculate energy. So, for logging a measurement, simply go and see, and do start log. The instrument start logging. Okay, now we're gonna measure leakage with HT77N, a professional leakage clamp meter. And we're going to measure directly between phase and neutral. As I told you, you should read zero. But we have a very, very it's close to zero. 0 0.06 milliamps. So, it's zero. Then you can even measure just the PE conductors. And in fact, we have zero milliamps. So, there, is, there are no leakages at all. Now we're going to stop the recording. Push again systems and stop log. So for the load data, simply go to system again and put the instrument on download. Okay? Then we're gonna see the results on the HT tablet. This allow you also to work in a very dangerous environment. So you can be far away from the measurement point where the danger is. So you're gonna see third four instruments. You're gonna find 9022, we're gonna click on it. And we're gonna see data stored in internal memory. Click it and you got several value of recordings. So we're gonna take the last one and download it.
Then go back to the menu, see data transferred on local device. We have HT instrument, which is our data. We're gonna open it. Now you're gonna see the voltage. We can add even more parameter, the current, for example. You see here is switch off, here is switch on again. So we got a little peak of current and switch off finally. Then we're gonna see the power. Reactive and operant. The three kind of power. We can zoom in and go see in details what happened at a certain points in time. There are even a more uh, practical function patented by HT. It is called the jump function. So by simply clicking on the P1 AVG, you see the energy. It's the energy your instrument uh, absorbs in a certain timer. More accurate, you can remove the power. Take a look again to the current, for example. Here we have the current graphs. We can switch the value of different point. Then again with the jump function by clicking on the current button, you will jump to harmonics. So here we have the harmonics of current in that specific period of time. We can do a lot of things more. Even we can see power factor, for example. It's floated because I think I switch it off. The cost fee, which is pretty stable, 0 0.59, 58. The frequency. You can analyze the frequency was pretty much stable from 49.98 to 50. You see those days the frequency is not anymore 50 stable, but you vary on time. And you can see the type the THD, so the total harmonic distortion of the voltage, for example. So you will see pretty much stable. Then here we have all the harmonics of voltage and so on. Most important thing is you can upload your instruments, your registration, you can upload your registration on the cloud where you have your account and your colleague from everywhere in the world with a PC or with an uh, Apple device, a US device, can access uh, the registration. So you can create reports in the office and so on.